This is Jim Nalen, liturgical guitarist. I'm going to share my arrangement of the prayer of St. Francis, and then I'll play through it first, and then I'll talk about it. Kind of a peaceful arrangement, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> a couple advantages of this arrangement are it's in the key that we sing it in. <coughs> C. Some people do it in D, so you can just put a capo on the second fret. Um, just like the last video I made uh, just a moment ago on the I Surrender All, this is one where you'll need to have a, a pretty healthy little finger on your um, playing hand here. So, Let's dive into it. <coughs> oh, and this is one of my arrangements that, that it'll cost you three bucks because I, I, uh, I can't put it out for free. I have to pay a royalty to Oregon Catholic Press for it. So it's one of my... I think right now I've got about 100 free arrangements and about 13 that, are, that will cost you. So anyway, starting out here, uh, measure one. And, and, and the melody is mostly in sixths here again. Sometimes I go into thirds, but <coughs> for the most part, the melody is in sixths. Just a C chord, and first and second finger down on the, at like an F, but still hold that C in the bass. And then <coughs> here you're playing, <coughs> excuse me, the open <coughs> second string, and then your fourth finger on the, um, third fret of the first string, and then back to the C chord, and then, so you're just playing arpeggio here in those last two measures of the first line, <coughs> and then a, a G bass, and then right back into it, same thing, <coughs> and then now you go to a G7, <coughs> um, you're not really playing a G7 here, you're playing a a G so far, but in the, in the music it's a G7. Right now you're just playing a G chord and you've got your fourth finger down on the third fret of the second string. Now lift that fourth finger off and then now you're playing a G7 with the thirds here in the melody. So you've got your little finger on the third fret of the second string and your first finger on the first fret of the first string. 
open ba bass and, and third string and slide up and then slide up your those two fingers two frets <coughs> and here you're going to slide on your little finger to the sixth fret and put your third finger down on the fifth fret of the first string and if you're not using to using your third finger this is going to feel a little weird and a little weak for you for a while but it it'd be a good thing to get that finger strengthened up and then slide back down on your little finger back to where you started and that's G7 and same thing G7 now now you have a C in the melody the open E the open first string and the first fret on the um, first finger on the first fret of the second string and then you slide up on that oh I have some wrong fingering in there you, um, I might have corrected that slide up on your first finger put your first finger on the um, second third fret of the second string and your second fingers on the fourth fret of the third string so and slide back on your first finger into a C chord. Grab that fourth there with the, the um, it's not fingered either. I might have an old version here. If not, I'll, I'll get in and fix the <clears throat> sheet music. I think I probably fixed that. And then the first ending is the G in the bass, and then it goes over and you play the whole thing through again. When you get to the second ending, which is at the top of page two, here's the second ending. Open fourth string, hammer on, second fret. And then first finger on <coughs> the third fret of the fourth string, <coughs> and you play this little cheating F chord that I use all the time, because I'm too lazy to learn how to play it this way a full F chord, so I use just sort of a short form. But we're just doing sixth, so it it's it's not an issue here, so it's just fine. And then go to the D bass, open fourth string, and slide on the, the third and fourth fingers, slide up to the seventh fret, and then and then slide up to the um, your second finger goes up to the eighth fret of the first string, and your third finger goes up to the um, ninth fret of the third of the fourth no of the third string. Your second finger's on the eighth fret of the first string. There we go. And then you got to make a quick jump back to the C. So that's that's probably the hardest part in the whole thing, right there. To get that smooth. practice that, <coughs> the way to practice making a, a, a shift, that's called a shift in guitar talk, classical guitar talk, uh, is to, you practice, you, you play that note, lift up your hand off the, off the string, and, and quickly shift, practice, make that shift. As you're making that shift, reconfigure your fingers into the C position with that little finger up on the, the G note and then put it down. So play the note, lift it off. Can't quite, yeah, you see me lift it off there in the close-up. So I lift it off, I shift, and you'll see as I shift, watch how fast my hand, from here to here, here it looks like this, and then almost as fast as you can focus, it's up here in the C chord. Now if you don't know this C chord with your little finger here, you're, you have to work on that. Um, but that's the way to work on a shift. Uh, Jim Greninger, a guy that, um, a great classical guitarist who studied with Segovia, and, and that's how Segovia told him to make shifts. If you don't know who Segovia is, look him up. Big part of guitar history. So, um, where were we? Oh, first line there. Seven kind of thing. We've already done this little trick in the first page. And then C, <coughs> a 
G7 over D, and then a C7. And then back up to the F, just like we did. Same thing as we did before, that's shift. Now we're gonna go to a D chord. And we're gonna slide on the third finger here from the um, third fret to the seventh fret. So it gives it like a like a glissando or a or like a hammer on, but it's a slide. And then now we're playing the melody in thirds here, like we do on the G7. We have our first finger on the fifth fret of the first string, uh, third finger on the seventh fret of the second string, and slide those down two fret, um, and then into like where they would be on a D chord. And then uh, we have a. Now we have a G over D, and we're in measure 32, the start of the last line. So just the. Um, you're playing the open fourth string and the open second string, along with the first finger on the third fret of the first string. And then the G, open G, and then. Come up with your first, slide on your first finger up to the fifth fret, put your second finger on the sixth fret of the second string, and then that open G, and then slide that up two more frets, and kind of milk that. If you can, if you got a first and second finger here, you can get a nice vibrato. If you have a steel string guitar, you want to try and get your vibrato going this way. If you have a classical guitar, nylon strings, you won't get anything doing that. You want to do your classical vibrato, which goes this way. But you can make something out of that note. And uh, <coughs> it's a little, little drama there. So starting back uh, on the D chord in measure 7, 20, 20, 30. Uh, a little bit of a retard there, too. If I can do this clean once. And back to the start. to the uh, last line, starting at the quota right there. So <coughs> when you take the repeat, you go back to the, the start and you play down to the, the, say, measure 13, the start of the last line. Play that measure 13 and you'll see that uh, little, almost a nautical looking nautical looking symbol there. Uh, looks like a, a ship's wheel or a compass rose or something. But it's called a coda in music terms, if you don't know that. And it means from there you jump to that symbol at the end of the song and you play there. So, so then I jump to the coda right here. second finger or just play it straight now it says a tempo there but I probably I do the retard um, I speed up a little bit and then I slow down so that's all I have on that one um, <coughs> look for more arrangements on liturgicalguitarist.com. I pray God blesses your playing, and I wish you peace. <laughs>